So good morning. You might notice something different. I've got another camera that I just thought I'd try it out on my way to work. I've no idea if I've got it set right. And I've had to buy a big extension thing to get it to fit right. But yeah, I decided to buy a DJI Osmo 3, Osmo Action 3, to just record rear facing just to get a different perspective and I suppose I could place it anywhere else on the bike as well if I wanted to this will test my very amateur editing skills as well because I'm obviously going to have to sync, sync the video up <coughs> with the audio and uh, picture from my 10C it's only running in 1080p at the moment because that's all that the 10C does. So it's, so it, I didn't see the point in running it in 4K at the moment. While um, when I can't put 4K on the 10C, so the next plan is to possibly buy a new camera for the helmet. But I'll probably go with uh, another Senna. I like the way that Senna lets you mix the audio. It might not be GoPro or DJI quality for the video, but <clears throat> it's, I like just one little unit, you know, so it's a tiny little thing on the side of your helmet. There's no weight. You don't have to mess about with extra microphone combinations and stuff. But I've seen a lot of um, reviews on YouTube for the Senna 50C, which is what I was hoping to look at at some point. But the audio just isn't even as good as the audio is on this ten, this old original 10C. So it seems a bit like it's a backward step. It's like the it's got Harman Kardon um, speakers and microphone, but I think the microphone is so good at noise cancelling that it cancels out all of the background noise so you don't get to hear your lovely engine and other sort of background noise going on when you watch back a video which is a bit audio is perfectly clear you know the voice is my voice would be absolutely crystal clear but I kind of would sacrifice a bit of that for hearing the background noise still I think So the 10C Evo, which is the next one down, doesn't have um, image stabilisation built in. It's not a mesh uh, intercom, but it still does 4K video. But I don't really use it as a intercom when I go out on group rides I don't do an awful lot of group rides we tend to be old-fashioned enough that we'll just shout at each other or make do hand signals and stuff but I don't listen to music that often when I'm in the on on the bike I really I want it to record footage of riding and be able for me and Lisa when she's on the back for us to be able to speak to each other see any and, and take incoming calls I don't make phone calls when I'm on the bike but if my phone rings but you know with with the intercom I've got the ability to answer it so I think the 10c Evo would do the job for me anyway and the audio on videos on YouTube seems so much better than the 50C. So it seems strange. 
but anyway I need to get a new crash helmet as well so this one's five years old now so I'm gonna have to do those two things at the same time You're not supposed to keep your crash helmet for more than five years. I mean, I don't do that many mi that many miles a year, so I could probably get away with keeping this a bit longer. But it's a it's a budget helmet that I bought back in beginning of 2019 when I first got back into riding motorbikes again, and I bought my little GP100, and I didn't have a crash helmet. I clearly threw my old one away which would have been no good anyway after 30 years sat around doing nothing but I just needed a cheap helmet didn't have an awful lot of money so I just went and bought this cheap stealth crash helmet so yeah it's time to replace it with something a bit better and that's another minefield I have no idea what crash helmet to buy really no idea there's so many to choose from so many different models I don't want a modular I want a full face so at least that narrows it down a bit um, I'd love one with a sun visor because I've got the sun visor in this but if I don't have one with the sun visor, it's not the end of the world. Again, I don't use it that often. So it's not a showstopper. Strange to see... See a camera looking at me. <laughs> oh, I'm on telly. Hello, Mum. Yeah, so I don't know what crash helmet. I still have no idea what crash helmet to get. I like the new AGV K3, but then reports say that it's noisy. I don't know what's noisy and what's not noisy. I'd imagine that this this helmet I've got now is noisy because it's a cheap helmet but it might it may not be noisy how do you know you know you everyone's view is subjective it's like personal opinion isn't it one person may love a crash helmet another person may hate it and you can't try it before you buy it apart from walking around the shop or walking around your home you can as soon as you take it out on the bike you can't that's it isn't it that's your choice for five years well unless you go and buy another one straight away but then you then you've just got a crash helmet sat on the shelf doing nothing can't sell it because well not many sensible people would buy a second-hand crash helmet. I know I certainly wouldn't. I don't know what's going on here. I don't think I can get past any of it there. Maybe traffic lights or something. just a broken down van up here or a stopped van it's all it takes to bring a major trunk road in the UK to a halt well, the DJI is still flashing red at me so I'm guessing it must be working
wondered whether it was anything to do with the A360 being closed. So they've closed off the A360 into Salisbury from the A303 because um, they're laying electric cables and stuff and um, <clears throat> for the Stonehenge tunnel so where they're going to be putting a tunnel through by Stonehenge so that nobody will be able to see Stonehenge when they're on their way down to the West Country anymore. really riding in the winter I don't have any cold weather gear and it's freezing it's not it's not freezing I'm cold
this here up that up that road there is where we'll be going in um, end of May beginning of June for the vintage nostalgia festival we we camp there well we we stay in a caravan but it's not, not proper camping but friend comes over with his trailer loaded up with old two-stroke motorbikes and we load my GP100 in there as well and we take them and we show them at the festival so it's a really good fun weekend level is low. And that's another reason I want to get rid of the 10C. We've not been going half an hour now. Battery's dying on the 10C. I have to charge it up when I get to work. Plug it in for the way home I think. So that's it for this way, 